my name's Shaq the bad man, because I'm a bad man. I'm gonna win and I'm gonna draw something that's so fabulous and it's gonna have some deep meaning. So my name's Dexter, Durag, Black, that's it. <laughs> Sid, <laughs> yeah, Dunno, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mandem, about that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chassis, Chassis, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gang, gang, what? Nah, 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 all of that, all of that. PAQ presents Tears for Peas. So in this episode, we're designing four different t-shirts. We're gonna have a pop-up store, and basically whoever sells the most wins. The rules are, have to print them at the same place. It has to be Gildan. Every streetwear brand uses Gildan. Gil is straight Gilly. Dylan, and it's like a social club. But they remove the tags, so you don't even know it's Gildan, and they charge like a dumb price. We're gonna do it at a set price, where it's 25 pounds. Black or white, no customization. I feel like that was a plot against me. If these t-shirts go well, we can take this merch Game anywhere like Rizzlers, mouse mats, bubble heads, highlighter packs. Ooh, um, light bulb, CD cases, durags, non stick pans, PAQ conditioner, lubricant. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Go on, just say a dildo. Fuck it, bro. Yeah. Um, the way it's um, like, just call CD indoors. <laughs> so we have 10 days of a pop-up, so we need to design, we need to finalise, we need to execute. Let's go. <laughs> I'm on my way to go see my friend Butler. He's an amazing artist. He's collaborated with Adidas on an exhibition. He's collaborated with Doc Martens. And he's also the creative director of Tiny Tempers brand, What We Wear. So I want to speak to him about my initial ideas, you know, get some inspiration from him. I feel like there might be things that I might have overlooked that he probably wouldn't. Someone like him obviously has a lot more experience in the industry than I do. What's like your creative process when you're like creating art and stuff? I know exactly what a painting is gonna look like before I paint it. It's all about creating something that someone can experience. Like how do you package it? What are you gonna put it inside? It's gonna be like a customized kind of bag. It's more than designing the t-shirt I really have yeah. to think about. It's actually how I'm presenting it as yeah. well. It's low key has to be like a little like kind of like installation. There were so many things that you said, yeah, that I've overlooked and I never took consideration to even think about. So I'm on the way to Oxford to go see Shirtworks. They're the guys that are going to be printing my tee. I already know what I wanted for my tee. He came up with the design, the concept, straight to my boy Junior. He drew it up for me, knew exactly what I wanted. So I'm going directly to them guys to ask them questions. I'm not leaving it to chance. I need to see my design. Nothing can go wrong, perfection. Inspiration from my design is kind of, um, I don't know if you've ever played GTA. Neon, like that old GTA style. The spine I wanted initially from the top of the t-shirt yeah. to the bottom and I wanted to have like the men climbing up with their guns yeah. on this heist and the aim of the heist is to blow up the heart. Why are we blowing up a heart? Shout out to Shaq, he loves uh, getting his heart broken so this one's for him. If you sell a million of these, yeah. <laughs> give me a call. How long is this going to take to print? Are we going to be able to get it done in time? By the skin of our teeth, we're going to be okay. So who do you think has got the best design? I like this one. Um, the other guys are a little bit more conventional. So you could win this. Gee, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> For my part of the challenge, I needed a hand. So I hit Maria from Copson because Copson is a brand that I love. We almost have similar like, interests and so far where it is all about just kind of like good vibes. She invited me to a studio space. I'm about to go in, have a chat. Tell me, like, how did it start? Like, how did you kick off the brand? One year I was um, living in Barcelona over the summer and I just started a blog spot, which was like things that I was interested in, which was style, electronic music and skateboarding. Kind of started to get a following through that. I found this, uh, it was called Masculine in Berlin, this calendar, and it just had like loads of male torsos and pastel colours. And for some reason yeah. I was like, I need that on a t-shirt. So that was yeah. our first t-shirt. So like, with the creative process, like, how would you start off? Like, I know I need to do a t-shirt. If you have it a place where you just save stuff, yeah. print it all off, put it on the wall, and then uh, it will just like board. become clear. And then if there's anyone that you've ever wanted to work with, if you, yeah. just kind of like, bring it all together. Does Pat have an Instagram? PAQ.official. Boom. That's the one. So I've already finished off my design. I've decided I'm going to go and look for where we're actually going to hold the pop-up. I'm going to meet a guy called Ross from Appear here. He's going to take me to a few spots. 
He did say that he's got somewhere in mind for us to do our pop-up. What is a peer here? We make it possible for anyone, anyone with an like, whether you've got a t-shirt brand or whether you're a luxury fashion group, to go online and book a shop like you would a hotel room. Where would you say is the best area for a studio pop-up? So if we start to think about like where place people like Supreme and Palace and stuff like that are based, it's often Soho. You know, you've got to make the experience interesting when people are there. And the reason why people go to stores is you want that experience, you want something that's going to disappear tomorrow. You want to meet the people behind the idea. I started off our business doing my own t-shirts. I actually started off with a pop-up for a week. The place I've got on my mind is right next to where I launched that original store. So when I was speaking to Maria at Copson, she was saying stay true and just kind of stick to what you know. My friend Izzy is a phenomenal artist. She doesn't get the recognition that she deserves. If I could bring her to design the t-shirt, get the lads in big to be the design, kind of incorporate my friend's art and the band that I like kind of go around with. When it comes to design ideas, I always want to go with a strong concept. With this one, I've gone with a GTA style heist. I hit up my boy Junior. He literally took the visuals from my brain and made it a reality. My idea for my t-shirt is smile now and cry later. People who go through things in their life, such as depression and anxiety, a lot of the time they might have to force their emotions or act happy, kind of mask how they feel because they don't want to show that. I want to show that, yeah, it's okay to cry, do you know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like it's really relevant to myself because I've had four operations before in the past. I'm a heart patient. Tomorrow is the pop-up. I am so excited. Hopefully we have a PAQ outside. <laughs> that was horrible. I had a mad brainwave. I thought it would be a cool idea to write little poems on card that I'm gonna put in the bags. Also bought 10 of these canvases, so I'm gonna do like little poems illustrations on this, like full ones. I thought I could paint 10 pictures in one night. Couldn't do it, and I only did four because I fell asleep. The theme of this t-shirt, it plays on like life and death, but not in like a dark way, more like in a you're questioning it kind of way. Yeah, I can't I dig it. I dig it. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Still at the pop up already. It is 10.25. We've arrived here at about 10. Some of these guys have been queuing since eight. We've all arrived now. I guess it's time to do the grand unveiling, see what's top. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh man. Whoa. I'm digging that, I'm digging that. Oh, Jeez. yeah. Come on, Shaka Belly. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, bring it. Oh, asleep again. Oh, Jeez. man. As you can outside, we basically got to redo the whole store. We have 15 minutes. So I'm, See, I'm saying, let's get on the mate. job. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I was the first in the queue. I got here around like 7.55 or something crazy like that. Here for the clothes, really, but in the atmosphere, you see what's going on. I'm a big fan of PAQ. Came from, all the way from Malaysia just to see Pack Official. It's just something different. Like, there wasn't anyone like them before on YouTube. Just got a train from Birmingham. I rushed on the tube to here. Like. I want to meet them, innit? If they're in there. Take my money. Hurry up, man. Swipe the card. <laughs> So we're about to open. We got our friend Tia on the tills. She's making sure that um, everything goes smoothly, so there's no cheating. Why'd you look at me? <laughs> no, I could try to say that they that they sold t-shirts when they haven't. Jeez, oh, what's the you saying, man? What are you saying, guys? Von Shaq's tea. Shaq, you got some customers. Oh, but I didn't want to put anything I've already done before. Yeah. So I was like, let me just do something new specifically for this challenge. So I came up with this. The seven t-shirt was cool, but. They're messing with Danny and Shep oh, right now. Still. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even I don't even blame them. No, I like my bright colours, so I've obviously got neon neon everywhere. I can't pull off bright colours though. It is. First person. I was the first person to come out and store the shirt. I got Danny's shirt. Obviously it's very early still. Shaq's made the, the tilt ching a couple of times. Come oh, here. Oh you're so nice. you're so nice. <laughs> Bless him. Come to the back. This is where the party's at. Everyone coming in from the store is obviously going straight to the front of the store with the other guys. It's like moths on a lie. They're not even making their way down here before they can see our designs because these guys are chirping them from the start. We need to switch it up, switch the rails, make it fair, and get some get some people seeing me and Dex's tea, you know? It was a hard decision. I like the design, I like the concept.
I bought Shaq's one. I'm not gonna lie. I bought it. And I bought it with like passion. I swiped that card. I bought Shaq's t-shirt. I love the print on the front. I got the Danny. Wow. The really mm. nice design. I'm gonna say is that a couple of you boys aren't doing too well. Oh fuck. So you guys um, know who you are. We need to up the game. Oh, okay, right. guys, come buy my t shirt. Yeah. This is like GTA Vice City inspired. Tia just told me that um, since I've done a, like, a little speech, my sales have gone up. I'm Dex, I'm from PAQ. I'm a man with many names. I'm a bit of mystery. If it's relatable to you, then invest in it. There's a concept behind it. If you generally have a connection with someone, it's because you listen to what they're saying and you feel what they're saying. If you ever feel negative, you can remember you met Dex from PAQ. <laughs> yeah, you can only choose one. That's cruel. That's torture. He said he loved the colours, the colours pop. That's exactly why I want to hear. I just sold out medium. Actually, since I've moved up here, I've sold a lot more. Listen, guys, just come with mine. Just come, come, come with mine. You don't want to come oh with mine? God. OK, that's fine. Small, small. I'm trotting the small. Last one left. You and you. Come. Come. So, I ain't never done this before. I've got 12 left. Apparently. So you've got the C4 there, you've got the explosion as well. That's his concepts, but I heard, this I heard is, you said... You took me from Team Dex. I was never taking you from Team Dex. This is it, you know what it is, Team Elias. So what T-shirt are you, man, thinking about buying? Is it? OK, come straight in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come round, come round. Gully. Coming close, me and Elwa neck and neck. I'm, go I'm going home. I'm going home, innit? There's only a few of mine left. Oh, dude. Right now it's flying like hotcakes. Like, we picked up, we picked up the pace still. Selling them, selling them, selling them. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that came down and showed you your support. Like, the love was unreal. We had people coming down from Coventry, Birmingham, the Philippines, Singapore. Yeah. Malaysia. Malaysia? Yeah, Malaysia. It's so sick, like, how all the girls Ellis was flirting with, oh actually ended up becoming shot. friends. Flashed his teeth a little bit, you know, <laughs> draw them in. At the beginning of the day, <clears throat> Me and Dexter are positioned at the back with you guys, Danny and Shaq, at the front. Where, where are the people? You were hogging them all. Danny, what a salesman. I'm not going to lie, you've got the northern charm. You're like, you're like, it's like, you know, like, it just with everyone. <laughs> we're 10 episodes in and your accent hasn't got any better. <laughs> Shaq with the emotive you know, really drawing people in with the poem, the meaning. Dexter's was kind of like guilt tripping everybody to buy the t-shirt. So, uh... <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> For all the um, heart patients out there, or anyone who goes through things, let's just make a campaign saying, f*** <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this up now. We might disqualify him and kick him out now, so um, there's going to be an open space for anyone who wants to be involved. Yeah, sorry, man, you got you got to get up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done! I'm done! I'm going to make my own team now! Welcome home, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Great to have yeah. you here, man. Yeah. Sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Tia came through earlier. She dropped us some t-shirts that have numbers on it. That's how many t-shirts we all sold. So we're going to open the packages, see the numbers and see who won. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think we got? I'm hoping at least 30 plus. I'm going to say like 26. 35. Oh, that's my favourite number. Decent. OK. Jeez, raw. 36? Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. Do you know what? That's actually my favourite number, funny enough. You said that about 35. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. I'm actually very happy about that. You know, I didn't think I'd even sell that many. I'm feeling a shook, man. 46. 46. Jeez. Wow, that means, I only had, okay. that means I only had four left. Oh my God. Wow. 46 is my favorite number, you know, because it's 10 more than Dexter's. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I sold 46 out of 50 t-shirts. Amazing. I am so happy about that. 39. Oh. Oh, it's too much, bro. Like the numbers are high. Like everyone's so high and the Shack as well. Like in the lead, it's a strong lead as well.
That was so good. <laughs> 44. So, Shaq, congratulations, my guy. Two, two from the winner. If my t-shirt wasn't there and I had to pick between them three, just walk out the store, go to, I'd rather go like, just somewhere else, innit? All these guys said that they'd buy your tea. <laughs> You're lying. Are you guessing? <laughs> Did you actually say that? Yeah. <laughs> we are PAQ, this has been Teas for Peas. Shaq is your crowned winner. Thank you for watching. Big love to everyone that came down and supported. Peace. If you wasn't able to get down, we've got some good news for you. Me and the boys have created an online exclusive for you guys at home releasing today. Link here, Cairo Web Shop, limited release. Go get it.